Assalamu alaikum everyone. Many people have questions regarding Beta Salam for so long and this press conference has been arranged to answer them and clarify things. Gentlemen, please go ahead. First of all, we frequently hear the name of Beta Salam from numerous people. But we never know the story of its establishment. Kindly elaborate it. Well, Beta Salam is younger than me. I mean, it's only a decade old. During the flood crisis of 2010 in Pakistan, the Imam of Masjid Bayt Salam, Mulana Abdustar Hafizahullah, with a group of volunteers from different walks of life, teamed up and reached out to the affected ones, subsequently laying the foundation of Bayt Salam Welfare Trust. Gradually, this organization spread all over the country and uh, in 2017 was registered as an international one with its projects in Turkey. Next question. <clears throat> there is a serious concern about where you guys get all the funds from. I mean, look at all these mega projects that we see around. There are even reports that you guys are getting foreign funds. Fake news. What if I tell you that we are funded directly by foreign intelligence agencies? <laughs> Jokes aside. The fact is that we have the full-fledged support of the generous nation of Pakistan, which always stand in the front line of voluntary projects. There are permanent members who fund Bath Salam Welfare Trust on a regular basis. Moreover, Bath Salam has its offices in different cities of Pakistan where we collect the donations widely ranging from a few rupees to hundreds of thousands. Alhamdulillah, Pakistani nation never disappoints us. Let me add something over here to clarify any confusions about our foreign collaborations. <clears throat> Well, it's not something to worry about. We do proudly collaborate with Turkish welfare organizations in projects in Pakistan and in Turkey for Syrian refugees, such as the Qurbani, meat packages, food packages, the tents, schools, ambulances, and so on. So it's like a two-way cooperation between these two brotherly nations. An example of this is a gift of media and robotics lab from Tika to our educational complex in Talagang. Next question. Yeah. Please let us know what fields Baslam works in. Is it an madrasa or NGO or what? Wait, <clears throat> let me tell you something about it. Baslam's motto is, we are for the Ummah, which means everything the Muslims need. It includes education, welfare, disaster response, and social awareness. Exactly. But as per the vision of a patron, our prime focus is to educate the Pakistani youth. For that, we have two state-of-art campuses in Karachi and in North that offers variety of courses from Islamic higher education to O-level, A-level, metric, all on 100% scholarship. How can you manage all these projects for free? We manage all through people's support from Pakistan and uh, recently launched a nationwide campaign named as Ilmofai Pakistan, which you must have heard about it. It was all over social media a few weeks back an educational membership that shall help us get volunteers and resources through a membership of 5,000 rupees only. Our objective is to get 100,000 members, inshallah. We all have observed that NGOs have a considerable amount of donated funds going to their administrative costs, sometimes even more than the actual spending on the needy. How is it at your organization? Yes, unfortunately it is true. But here at Beta Salam, things are different. I can confidently tell you that administrative cost is very less because everything is done by the volunteers. From Russian distribution to web development, tasks are done free of cost with the khidmat spirit. We even have a volunteers paying for their foreign travel tickets themselves. As claimed that you reached out to 4 million beneficiaries during the COVID-19. How do you find the most needy and how do we know that the fund really reached the deserving? Well, for this, we are especially thankful to our vast network of 350 plus basic educational centers all across Pakistan, especially in the rural, rural areas, due to which the reach out of Bad Islam has become so strong that it has volunteers from all across the country. An example of this is a meat distribution on Eid occasion when 15,000 people are provided with meat packages. This distribution is carried out in remote areas and even in those where people receive meat once a year. So I would say that this vast network of selfless volunteer 
is something very unique to this organization. All thanks to Allah. And I guess that will be enough for today. Last question, sir. Briefly tell us about the future plans of Baitul Islam. As my brother mentioned earlier, starting from a single mosque, Baitul Islam has now become the movement of international level that transforms the dreams to transform Muslim societies into living, educated and prosperous lives. We shall continue preparing the youth through education and life skills to stand up for humanity regardless of color, creed and race, inshallah. We are very thankful to all of you and uh, promise to pray before you whenever there is a need to do so. Jazakumullah khairan. Thank you very much everybody.